Where are your top three places to be, Sean? Well, my top three would be uh, either at home. Okay. At rehearsal. Okay. Or on stage. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> he likes to keep it tight. That's right. Puricon, this is Scott from Carnifex. And Sean from Carnifex. And we are going to go through our top three picks for you guys, starting right now. My top three would probably be, uh, let's see, Slipknot, their first album. That was, uh, you know, that, that album kind of blew my mind as far as, like, extreme drumming Definitely. went, you know. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't really wrap. It took me a, a, a lot of listens to really wrap my head around it. <laughs> uh, it's probably, let's see, Korn's uh, Follow the Leader album. Okay. Uh, that album was, uh, you know. It was, epic. It was, yeah, it was epic. Like, the very first listen I was I was in. He's in. <laughs> number three. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to come back. I'll have to come back to number three. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I... I have been thinking about this, so I gotta go. My my top three records are Cradle of Filth, Cruelty and the Beast, Cannibal Corpse, Kill, mm. and Dissection, Storm of the Lights, Bane. Okay, those All are right. those are my my top three records right there. I'll I'll have to go Duma Borgir, Puritanical. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> so All right. Good choice. Yeah, that's got a lot of sym symphonic elements and just the uh, you know the the heaviness combined with that is just. You know, something I kind of strive for in everything that I write. Uh, can you name your top three concerts of all time that you've been to? Oh, geez. Uh, I don't know. I guess I would have to do uh, Green Day. Green Day, okay. Uh, Green Day at the Pond of uh, Anaheim. What year? It was 94, I think. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. 93. They were uh, they were touring on Dookie, and that concert was just you know it was my first really big concert, so that's you know, awesome. It was kind of mind blowing. It was so loud that I think uh, it, it all just started crackling together. And just by the permanent end. hearing yeah. damage right there. <laughs> yeah, that's where I think that's where the the tinnitus, uh kicked in. That's where it originated. Right there. Yeah, I think. Uh, let's see, Weenie Roast in two thousand. Solid. Diana's gonna like that one. That's a good one. <laughs> Yep. I think I I think I saw uh, every band ever at that show. Right. So yeah, all the all the legends. Yeah, we have a we have a running joke in the in the band, or at least Diana does. <laughs> Anytime I'm like, oh, I've seen this band, she goes, "Where'd you see them at Winnie Roast?" And my answer is usually yes. <laughs> he roast two thousand. <laughs> yeah. Deal with this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where's your third one? Last one. Uh, my last concert. <laughs> was one that we played. It was uh, probably the Slipknot show we played in Costa Rica. Well, that's pretty good. That one. was fucking epic. I'm going to have to that concur with you on that one. So my top yeah. three shows are, yeah, Carnifex and Slipknot together in Costa Rica. That was amazing. Um, when we played Knotfest in San Bernardino in 2016 mm. with Whitechapel and Suicide yeah. and Motionless, Slayer, and Anthrax. Slipknot played Iowa front to back. Yeah. There you go. That was amazing. And then from my youth, yeah, let's go back to like 2000, 2001, and it was, uh, it was Cannibal Corpse, Jimmy Bulgear, Chrissy, and Lamb of God. That was one of my favorite. The Palace in Hollywood. That, oh, was, yeah. a, that was a crazy show. Oh, yeah. That's sick. Where are your top three places to be, Sean? Well, my top three would be uh, either at home. Okay. At rehearsal. Okay. Or on stage. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> he likes to keep it tight. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to say top three places. Yeah, the studio is a good place. Uh, on stage is a good place. And then just, I don't know, anytime we're in California, I'd say we're good. Yeah. Those okay, are... I'll give you number four would be Disneyland. <laughs> That's fair. It's the fourth happiest place it's on earth. The fourth happiest place. Yes. What are your top three picks for the gamer? Probably the only ones I play. Um, <laughs> let's see. Assassin's Creed uh, is one of the top. Uh, I, I like the Black Flag one. I, I played Valhalla like nice. all the way through. 
I guess uh, I'm gonna have to go NBA 2K. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I was like, NBA Jam, which was that's, right. <laughs> that's right, 2K. Uh, uh, that that's super fun. And then actually, I think my top video game is going to be uh, Alien Fire Team. All right, I'm gonna try that one. <laughs> I have not played that one. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's gonna be online multiplayer. It's kind of like uh, Left 4 Dead, where there's like four of you mm. and you go around it's and like on that the planet like aliens yeah yeah and you you, you know you hunt them all you, you can also be the alien about time and and hunt the hunt humans yeah hunt humans <laughs> so yeah i'm i'm getting ready for that one killer uh <laughs> let's see what are my top video games um let's see i, I like doom i like wolfenstein mm. call of duty's fun uh and then mario kart Mario Kart, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'd say those are my four. I'm not right. really a gamer. All right. Uh, you got top three movie picks? Top three movie picks. Oh, man. I I don't know. I've, I watch a lot of movies. I couldn't I couldn't give you a top three. The Masked, <laughs> Liar, Liar, Ace Ventura. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. <laughs> we, got, we got four. I would so. say top three. I don't know. Anchorman's one of them. <laughs> Uh, Dude, there's so many classics, man. I'd say Tropic Thunder is probably a pretty good one. Tropic Thunder, yeah. Just a dude disguised as a dude playing <laughs> another dude. Hey, if you haven't <laughs> checked it out, the Slamming Salmon. That's a good one. <laughs> All good comedies. What are your top three Carnifex tracks? Oh, uh, yeah, you can do it. I can, I can. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think, uh, let's go... I'll, I guess Graveside Confessions. That's uh, one of my favorites. Okay. Um, uh, World War World War X. That, also a good that, one. That's a favorite. Yep. Um, I would say hmm, any, any older tracks. I think uh, Dark Days is, that, is one of my favorites too. That is a great song. Yeah. yeah. Good one. So. See, all right, three favorites from me. I would have to go <laughs> My Heart and Atrophy. That's you know that's a good one we we, we wrote early on. Um, the first album. Mm. Hell Chose Me. I'm really, really proud of that song. Still love that song. Nice. And then from the more recent stuff, oh, man, that's tough. Yeah, Graveside is a pretty good one. Um, mm. You know, Dark Heart Ceremony is a pretty great one, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll go Dark Heart Ceremony. Mm. Yeah, so those are my top three Burn Carter Fax tracks. Hell yeah. All right, guys, those are our top three picks. Hope you enjoyed. Check out Graveside Confessions September 3rd. See ya. There you go.